Welcome to my top 5 games for 2018. These are games that go under the radar at the moment and they need some more publicity. They are great looking games and they will come out in 2018. And without any delay let's start with the first one. The first game is from the creator of This War Is Mine. It's about survival, hope and life. It's plays in a world, a post-apocalypse world with only up, steam power. With next to next. This game is called Frostpunk. As a city ruler you have to manage the inhabitants and infrastructure, the citizens lives. Right. In this game you will face challenges and frequently question the moral and basics foundation of what you consider. Every decision has its consequences. The game has a large skill tree where you have to pick your skills. Slowly your city will grow and grow and you will prosper. Once your city has grown you'll get at a point where you get to explore the outside world. Will there be others? The game has great graphic looks and a lot of potential and I hope they make this game as good as this in-game footage looks. Because yes it looks astonishing, promising. And what we've seen so far is just a small part of the game. So Frostpunk will be a game I will be looking forward to play, to test and to review. Make my city survive. This game has been set to release the first quarter of 2018. Uh, and at this moment only a press demo has been released and some light game footage. What I have been able to use for you to show. So this is a game we will take a close look at and hope it will come out in 2018. The next game on the list is also a survival game, Raft. Raft throws you and your friends into the epic ocean adventure. Alone or together you play battles to survive. The only thing you see around you is a vast sea. You should gather debris to build up your floating home. This game started at itch.io as a little indie game, but the developers and the community made this game what it is now. The developers at Redbeat Interactive listen to their community and keep them updated by a dev blog. A demo of the game can be downloaded on Steam and it is worth your time and I'll put a link down below. So play the demo and enjoy this game already. The next game will introduce himself. I didn't see you there. For years at Two Point Hospital, it's been our mission to help and to heal. Take Many Trevor, people instance, remember this game as Steam Hospital. And it is good to know that there are developers from the former Bullfrog team creating this game. Team Hospital was a great game in 1979 by Bullfrog. It was a game where you could create your own hospital and has to find uh, cures for many crazy looking diseases and as you can see in this game nothing has changed crazy diseases and funny looking characters two point hospital will be the spiritual successor of the team hospital this game is set for the last quarter of 2018 so we have to do some waiting before we can build our own hospital and cure many diseases with crazy doctors and machines but I believe they will do it. Next on the list is Machiavellian. And I hope I pronounced it right. In this game you're the villain and you will build your own mansion. This game has been set in the style of Rimworld, the escapist and prison architect. You must create your own mansion by building vampire cribs, mad scientist lab and cannibal kitchens. Your monsters should gather resources like wood, rock, mushrooms. They aim to have 30 types of different monsters in the game. And you should choose your minions wisely because every minion has his own different traits, different needs. So you must tend them well. Once everything has been set up you will have to deal with the random victims that come in your house. Bankers, jocks, nerds, party girls and horror movie celebrities and even some Kickstarter backers are in the game. The game has a crafting system where you can craft stuff like the Frankenstein monster, the mud monster, the living skeleton, toxic gas traps, flamethrower traps and more and more. So this game is offering plenty of opportunities to create your own mansion and have some fun with 
celebrities or girls. The only downside as a villain is that you have to follow some rules. I can't tell you those rules, but I think the game can tell them better. So let's listen to the rules. The rules when it comes to your victims. One, you must kill them all. Two, you can only kill them when they're alone, unless they're having sex. If that's the case, go ahead and slaughter those degenerates. Three, you have to kill the virgin last. Four, you can only massacre at night. Once the sun is up, you have to let the survivors leave and live. Until the sequel. Five, do not kill the dog, ever. We're serious, don't do it. You can no release date has been set yet, but they will keep focusing on putting this game on the market in 2018. Now for the fifth game, I would like to ask you to put down your game down below in the comment. What game deserves more attention and what game is flying below the radar? If you enjoyed this, push the like button, leave your comment down below or leave your game down below and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos.